is five things you need in your sax case as a beginner saxophone player. And number one is the right mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is the top of the sax, that little part that goes onto the top of the saxophone, onto the neck, and then on to the rest of the sax. And this is a really important part of the sax. If you don't have the right mouthpiece, you can actually spend weeks or even months struggling with getting a good tone on the sax. So make sure to get a good mouthpiece as a beginner. I recommend the Yamaha 4C, which is a great mouthpiece for beginners. It's very affordable. And you also wanna make sure you're pairing that mouthpiece with the right reeds. The reed is what goes on to the mouthpiece to make a sound. And if you don't have the right reeds, as a beginner, you're also gonna struggle with getting a sound. So I recommend the Van Doren traditional two reeds as a beginner, or you should get a synthetic reed. I recommend Leger, they have some really great synthetic reeds. And the Van Doren or Leger reeds are gonna pair really well with the Yamaha 4C. And that's gonna be a perfect setup for a beginner. So they are the top two products you should get as a beginner saxophone player. My name is Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com. You are in the right place. If you just started on the sax, you're still trying to figure out the notes, you really want to learn your favorite songs, it's all on this channel. And if you want all my recommended products as a beginner or even an intermediate or pro player, I have a free Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. There's a link below this video or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide and I give you links to all my recommended products for alto, tenor, soprano and baritone. It's all inside that guide. I talk about mouthpieces, reeds, cleaning equipment, saxophones, stands, everything. It's all inside there. So go and check it out. There's a link below. So the third thing you want to get as a beginner saxophone player is a reed case. You want to make sure you're storing your reeds in a safe environment and the reed case is the best place to store them. So instead of just putting them back into the small case you get with your reeds, you wanna use a bigger case like this. And this actually has a way of controlling the humidity as well. And again, I link to it inside my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide and you can get ones for alto, tenor, baritone or soprano. So this is a great place to store your reeds. So that's the third thing I recommend as a beginner sax player. The fourth thing I recommend is more cleaning supplies. So we're gonna move on to the neck cloth, which is a small cloth like this. This goes through the mouthpiece and neck and helps to clean out all the gunk, all the saliva that's inside your mouthpiece and neck. So let's say we get this mouthpiece, it's got saliva on it, it's got some gunk in it. You wanna be able to clean it out after every practice session with this cloth. And it's really simple to use. You just put the string through the mouthpiece and pull the cloth through. So it's better than just using tissue paper or some of your cloths at home because it's just much easier to use. And this also can be used for your neck, which you should definitely get one of these for your neck. Don't try to clean out your neck with regular tissue paper or regular cloth because you wanna be able to put the string through and safely pull through the cloth like that and it will never get stuck inside, especially if you get the right cloth for the right instrument. So make sure you're getting the alto cloth for alto, the tenor cloth for tenor, etc. And finally, the fifth thing you need as a beginning saxophone player is a body swab like this. And the way this works is that there's actually a weight at the end of the cloth. So we just put that weight into the bell of the sax and make sure that the body cloth is for your saxophone. This is specifically designed for the alto sax. And when you shake it around, you can turn it upside down and the weight will fall out of the other end of the sax. And remember, don't put it in the thinner end, put it in the wider end first and pull it through gently like that, okay? Make sure you have the alto cloth, not the tenor cloth not the baritone cloth, because if the cloth is too big, it might end up getting stuck in your saxophone. So remember, weight goes into the bell, shake it around, put it inside, turn it around, try to get it on this side of the bell here, turn it around, upside down, pull it through, and that is how you clean your body of the saxophone with one of these cloths. Super simple, super effective. Again, I recommend these specific products inside my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. And I give you links to all these products, including saxophones I recommend, saxophone stands I recommend, and other cleaning supplies. So go and check out that guide. And if you wanna learn more about how to play the saxophone as a beginner, if you wanna learn more about what to be working on, as a beginner, go and check out this next video here. That's gonna shed some light on exactly where to start 
start and what you should know about how to start learning and mastering the sax. So go and check it out. And until next time, my friend, have a great day, have a great week, and happy playing.